Well, hello. So, we are going to get started today. Um, I have my banding wheel system, and I like to take and line it up in the circle. So I know I'm pretty centered. Put my centerpiece in, and then start using my templates. Today I'm going to show you. My goal for today is... Um, these baby hybrids. So I'm going to show you. This is a five petal flower with light indents because I'm going to show you something I can do with that. It's the baby six five that goes on this baby five inch. See how that comes out? All right. So let me go get my piece of clay because I want to show you start to finish how these work, how they come off, all the tips and tricks I can think of. Okay, I have my, my little piece of clay here. And I will tell you, the bigger the piece of clay, diameter-wise for these, the easier it is. But I have a smaller, little on the smaller side, so I'll just show you some of the little tips and tricks if you do a smaller one. Uh, but if you do a larger one, it's a lot easier. So I'm just compressing my clay real quick. I use printer's blankets for my canvas, and so I don't really get texture, but um, I like to, I get more texture from my table. And blue paint, look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this up because it's not a very big piece. Well, I pull this towards me and I'm going to try to make sure I get it pretty centered. I'm going to kind of drop it down there like that. Um, <laughs> and I didn't get it centered, but I just moved it over a little tiny bit. And it will be fine. See these little um, ruffles, whatever, folds? When you have a bigger piece of clay, you don't get those. But you got to remember, these are pretty straight down forms. So I'm going to just kind of bring my hands in and up, kind of around this, just to help get it started. Don't spread it down, in and up. And see, this is that little, that little piece, but it's going to be fine. Okay, so now I got that much done. I'm going to lightly wet my sponge, I mean my rib, and I'm going to do my little swoop. I like to come and swoop it. And that helps lay it down and not crinkle it up. I just swoop. And I'm not trying to like smoosh this in with a form anyway. I have my little template down there. I'm just trying to get the overall shape. Now that I've done my swoops and got it pretty good, I'm just going to lightly come around down here at the bottom to find my template. And again, um, coming around the top to get those clay pieces, I'm not smushing it hard into my form. Um, my clay, I just took it out of the bag and rolled it out and it hasn't been sitting 10 minutes 15 minutes so I'm gonna get these clay boogers off of here and now I'm gonna take my smoothing sponge because I put little dents in it with my other sponge. And just come around and kind of smooth it out some. The rib will take care of most of it anyway. Now I have some kind of big dents here, so I'm just gonna come around and get those out. I did that with my sponge. There we go. All right, now, 
You can take this excess off if you want. You don't have to. I'm going to move that out of my way. And now I'm going to hold the clay. I kind of go in between my fingers and I just walk the banding wheel with my fingers, keeping my needle tool straight up and down. and remove the excess and wait till you see what this is going to look like okay now i do like to go around and see if i left any little tiny pieces that though the sponge would take them off i kind of like to hit them with my needle tool because then i don't have much sponging to do and i don't like doing a lot of sponging it distorts your shape and that's what I took off but then it doesn't make me sponge a lot and I'm gonna go right around this with my sponge so a little piece right there and a little piece right there I want to get off a little piece right there a little piece right there okay we're good and that my friends is all you have to do now if you want to put a foot on this then you can um here i have my well this will probably be a little big for this i'll just do a little a quick and easy corn cob. Corn cob. But you could do all kinds of fun stuff. You could, little balls. Um, you could do all kinds of fun little things. Whoop, that's plenty. Because this is a little pot, this little foot will be okay. Otherwise, I'd do something um, bigger and better to accent my pot. But this one is just going to get a little one. And this one, I'm just spinning and going around. Just like that. Now, you've seen me do this before. I'm just going to wet this. I have not had issues with my feet popping off. Now I just kind of spin this around with my wrist. And spin this around. I like to look up into my camera and see that I've got it pretty round to start with. And then I'm just going to cut this at a slight angle, take these excess pieces off, and score. And wet. Oh, a little too wet. Ran down the side, but we'll get it. I have a dog hair right there. You can't see it, but I can. So I'm going to put this in, and I'm going to squish it together and run my fingers across it so you don't see it. And then just run my fingers around it. This will... Whoops. This will smooth out any score marks on the outside. And with my thumb resting inside here, it's going to help get most of the score marks out of the inside as well. And I say most because you don't always get them all, and that's okay. You can go back in with your finger or 
go in with your craft brush and smooth that out. And then I like to take my sponge and come around real slow and make sure I've got that pretty rounded. Just like that. That is pretty round, except for the angle of my camera. All right, now you've watched me doing that and you've seen how much time I've spent on it. I do like to lightly press, not enough to smush it, but just enough to make sure it's in and get any excess slip out of there. All right, and there's this little dish. That quickly, we, 11 minutes, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you that you can take this off right now. Not advised, I would wait 30 minutes, maybe an hour at best. I did not squish this around my form. Put this and flip it over. Take my template off. And you see there's very little cleanup to do. I'll take my sponge. And clean this up. Now, I want these petals, well, let me show you. I could pop this out right now. You saw that. I never left the camera. I never paused it. And I just picked it right out of there because I didn't smush it around the sides. Okay. But what if I want these petals to stick straight up? I can bring them up right now, alter it. And now take it out. Now see how these petals are straight up? Now I'm going to hold my finger here and smooth these out. And look at, this is obviously too early. This is very, very wet. But I'm just going to show you on this one, you can do it. If you see a little ridge, put your finger behind it, lightly catch it with your rib, and that's the end of that. And there you have kind of a tulip, a five petal tulip. <laughs> well, that's really three and three three petals and the three little other things. But look at this dish. And this is a three deep. And look at the height of that. Beautiful. Now just think, if we did the next size up and having the lips brought up like this, could you imagine the nested set that this would be. And if you think about that, uh, 14 minutes, start to finish, and this is done. Now, what I would do with this, because it, look at, it's floppy wet. I could, I could do all kinds of things with it. I could alter it at this stage. I could do whatever I wanted. But what I would do is I'll go take this and I would go sit it on my shelf for about an hour and then I would go back because it would be a little closer to leather hard. Then I would go back 
and do a little cleaning up on it. Get along, Sharon. Do a little cleaning up on it. And then check it again in an hour or so when it's really more leather hard. Throw a piece of plastic on it. Um, if you want to stick a little bag, um, weight bag in there, just make sure you get it even so you don't warp out your sides. But I would just throw a little piece of plastic on this and let it dry. And in a day or two days, I'd pull that plastic off and, and let it go to bone dry and bisfire it. But... We have been on 15 minutes and we have this gorgeous little dish already. 